think it's destroyed? No, it's just wet. It's fine. It is nasty out there. <laughs> Why did I park across the street? Candace and Francine are shopping. Owen is at work. I'm currently headed to the gym. Rainy, gross Sunday morning in southeastern Connecticut. running I think I saw you guys in the Is my mom here yet? Nope. Hey sleepy. Sunday brunch with my mother. She took the baby, don't know where the baby is. My kid's been up since 5 a.m. Do you still like that shift or is it time you get up? I like it more than anything else. Yeah. Are you guys having an awesome time on your phones? You're one to talk. Yeah. Who, me? I'm just, I have to check something. Are you okay, honey? Well, when we first got in the car and she was crying, I started singing and she stopped crying. Well, now she's... A, I think she just wants to go home. We just got back to the city. Candace brought Francine up. I'm in charge of emptying out the car. Last week I was in California and New York, and then we were in Connecticut. I'm going away somewhere this week, and then again next week, and then again the week after. I love running around so much in life, but there's a struggle that comes with it. And it's hard to characterize what that struggle is, but it's like you, there, you, you're never able to just kind of hang up your hat somewhere and have it feel like this is your home base. And trying to stay grounded while being scattered is a, is a real challenge. I'm not coming in here to work. Just dropping off the skateboard and the drone. It's not that I don't feel like I have a home base. New York City is, and for the foreseeable future, New York City will be my home base. It's just more a matter of feeling scattered. Like everything's kind of shook up and never gets a chance to settle to the bottom so you know what you've got. That's how I describe how I feel right now in life. And plus, Candace and I are starting to get frustrated with our apartment here, so we think like, so we think maybe moving to a new place here in the city will make us happy. And honestly, I kind of want to move to Brooklyn. Then I can get a motorcycle and have a good excuse to have it. The excuse would be so I could ride it into the city. There's this thing I try to do as often as possible. It sounds silly, but it works. Every once in a while, when things feel really good, you just stop and look around and pay really close attention and then say, I'm going to remember this moment. I try to do that every so often and then life kind of becomes an aggregate of those moments. And when you look back, it's those moments that you remember. But if, if you forget to do that, you end up looking back and instead of seeing those little moments, you just look back and you're like, what just happened? It's just remembering to stop and think. Sometimes you're so busy, life is so fast, you forget to think. You've got to stop and think. You think about what makes you happy. 
you think about what makes you sad, what makes you fulfilled, what's a waste of time, what's a good use of your time. Yeah, I think. And that's, that's my favorite part about running. I love the physicality, I love the competitiveness of it, but my favorite part is having a piece of the day, every day, set aside, no distractions, just like, just think time, just brain time. Running is much more of a cerebral experience for me than it is a physical one. Uh, seven miles at a 7.39 pace. It is windy out there. Almost lost my hat. All right, time to go home, go to bed. Ugh. <laughs>